Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. How you doing? Today we're doing Nowhere Girl from B-Movie. Let's take a listen. Techno. and so forth how you guys like that so if you've ever seen b-movie uh, this is like the, the hit song from it nowhere girl there's a link in the description you can listen to the guy who i'm going from he's amazing he's got a bunch of keyboards and he's just going all over the place uh, making you know this techno video so listen to that if you get a chance also you can download my sheet this whole sheet here you can download for free there's a link in the description for that as well. So this is kind of techno, okay? So we're going to make it sound uh, techno, and mostly that's going to be with the left hand. So if you are a, a member of the site, you can download all the sheets. They're extensive. I can't remember how many there are. Uh, there's a bunch, but um, that kind of helps out. You know, have your own sheets to write on and look at. Um, I like having it on the big screen here <laughs> and zooming in. Um, there's also a third line that we'll do. So... To make it techno sounding and just piano solo, we're going to use this. Okay, so that kind of serves as the kick drum and the the cymbal and also the bass. Okay, so we can't you know get exact, but on the piano we can solo. We can kind of sound like instruments and uh, different things. So. To get that technical techno sound, we're going to do that. Now, if you need to play it easier, you can do that to start with. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then you can just have in your mind, well, one, you know, later on, if I'm, I'm doing okay with it, I'll try the, the more difficult way. That's a great way to go about it. Instead of saying, I'm going to do it this way to start with, and then struggling, you know, and then quitting. So <laughs> I would start with the easier way if there's any question. All right, so the left hand starts on a D. And you can just play a single D. You can just play what's written. That's really the absolute easiest way. And it still sounds good. All right, but if you can add an octave and a fifth, so you play D on the bass, and then the octave is the D above, A in the middle with a two finger. And I just play that all together. A, B flat, C, the right hand comes in after on A, B flat, C. A, B flat, C, one, two, three, four. Okay, we are in 4-4 four, four time, and I put fast. It's kind of a fast one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Da, da, da. Now we're going to go to B flat, F, B flat. Okay, so you notice I just have one letter there, but a lot of times you can do octave and a fifth. And guys, I will tell you, most piano playing, the left hand is going to have some form of that octave and a fifth, and it's just playing the same letter, you know, on the bottom and top, and then where that second finger naturally is going to fall is the fifth. Okay, B flat, F, B flat. So you have one, two, three, four, F, G, A, da, da, da. Okay, that's your first phrase. All right, so I'm going to just take you all the way through. This is an extended part one, okay? Not just giving a few measures anymore, giving you a whole page. And everyone seems to be loving that. Everyone seems to be loving my, my staff there with the letters on it. So there, there's a great response from everyone on that. Um, so glad you guys enjoy that little improvement. Kind of try to keep getting better and better over the years with how we present. Left hand C, G, C, and then right hand D, E, F. And then as I go to A, E, A, that's the, the octave fifth. Right hand will do C, B flat, A. And yes, it's the same A. Just get your finger out of the way when it's time to do the right hand, okay? Now we, we learn that, we work on it, and then we try to do it all. Okay, if you just need to do the single note, you can. That sounds good, too. And then if you can do this. Bum, 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 bum. All I'm doing is the octave and a fifth, okay? You got to learn that most vamping is just a rhythm thing. It's not an adding extra notes thing. It's the notes you're already on. You're just playing those notes again, okay? So, okay, D, A, D, A. 
one and two, and then I do it again. That's the whole measure. Da, 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 da. Then the B flat's the same thing. And then the C's the same thing. And then the A's the same thing. And you notice I'm holding, I'm, I'm hanging on to the keys with the pedals down. It just helps me feel where I am if I just hang on to the keys physically. Okay, and if you can put that together slowly, be something like this. Now you went, you have a little dissonance here, that's okay, when you go fast, you won't even hear it. Some things will be dissonant when you play at a slower tempo and they won't bother you when you go faster, okay? There's my first four measures. So that's what I'm going to work on. And, and it's what you should work on until you can get, maybe it'll take you a whole day for that. But it's better to be uh, feel good about a few measures than it is to try the whole page and then feel like you're a failure. <laughs> All right. Take, take what you need, just a little part, two measures, four measures, whatever that is. All right. Now, the great thing about music is it repeats a lot of the times. And it repeats, starting right here. Next line. So those next four measures are the same. So you already can do that. So that's a, a wonderful thing, all right? You can already you do it. So there we go. We know the first eight measures. Now we have kind of a variation. I'm going to scroll. Okay, so we kind of go to a chord pattern here. So the guy in the video, and you, I definitely recommend listening to it. Just click on the link there. Um, he's He's got all of these things. He's got the, the beat going. He's got different... Um, you know, chord things going on, and then, you know, it's just, it's really incredible. All right, so um, we're going to go to chords now, and we're going to keep with that same beat, and then there's another variation at the end that sounds like this. Something like that. All right, so that one's really cool coming up. All right, but this variation right here is A, D, F, we're just doing the chords, it's a D minor chord, one, three, five, left hand on a D, okay, one, and two, and, and then after we learn the chords, then you can do this, see how that left hand really gives you that techno feel, it, it sounds like that to me anyway, A, D, F, D minor, and then we go to B flat chord, B flat, D, F, I guess I'm using two, three, five, but you can use one, three, five. That's more comfortable for you. One and two and, and the rhythm is one and two and, one and two and, three and four and one. Then we go to a C chord, G, C, E with one, three, five, left hand on a C octave, one and two and, three and four and one. And then A, C, E, left hand on an A, one, two and, and again, single note works. You want to do a single note. Okay, um, A minor, A, C, E, left hand, A, E, A. And music repeats, right? So the next four, exactly what you did. And then we start another variation. So he has this kind of, um, you know, 80s techno uh, keyboard space sound going a do 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 in the video so i'm kind of combining all elements here the piano chords that are going on with the techno beat with that little uh, space sound in the keyboard so we start that here on d minor d a in the left hand right hand d f and then d a but when you play that a you're going to play d f again in the right hand with one and two one two and then D, F, A, D with one, two, three, five. One, two, and. You're going to accent these two. Accent, accent. Dun. So you still have that. Dun, 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 dun. So that next measure is D, F again. Left hand, B flat, F, B flat this time. The whole octave and a fifth. And then the left hand. When you play the F, you play the right hand again. And then the B flat in the left, then D, F, B flat. Oh, 
up, sorry. One. So from here. Okay, and then it continues from there. Now let's try all three lines. Okay, so I'm just kind of scrolling, making it big here. Maybe you can't see it as well, but it just helps me to see it all there. All right, here we go. Ready from the beginning. One, two, and ready, and go. I think that sounds pretty close, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you on webpianoteacher.com and talk to you later.